guys and welcome back to the happy heart I'm so glad you guys tuned in for my Michaels haul um, I actually have a lot of fall crafts and a few Christmas um, things too I originally went to Michaels because I needed to get a few little bags to put some marbles in because we were doing um, the Christmas shoe boxes at church and so as a group we're all getting together and stuffing them so we're kind of like just buying stuff and we're all gonna get together and stuff it and I was kind of more in charge of like toys and things like that so um, I needed bags for some marbles that I bought and I couldn't find them anywhere so I said you know what I'm gonna go to Michaels and see what I can find and a hundred dollars later you know how it is you've been there uh, I come out of Michaels with all these fun things that Ryan and I can do in school and, and it's gonna be really good but I wanted to show you guys my haul and what I got. Alright guys, this is what I actually went to Michaels for. Actually, just these bags. Um, these were the best bags I could find. They were organza. They were just kind of this organza drawstring bag and I wish I would have found a better like heavier duty bag but I was kind of crunched for time, so and that was the best I could find. I was looking for 10 and that worked, so I'm hoping that works. And I actually found these packs of bracelets for a dollar a pack, and so I thought that would be good for several boxes. Now on to the fun stuff. <laughs> Alright, so the rest of my table, on this side of the table, is all of my haul. So I'm going to show you guys, this is my Christmas stuff that I just couldn't resist. These little, um, these little house projects are kind of a time consumer, so they take a little bit more time, which is what I was actually wanting. And I was really excited because this one was a countdown calendar for Christmas, and then this was a nativity. And I thought this would be good because I've been looking for one that I can put in Ryan's room, or I can put it in our homeschool room, um, that can't get broken and that definitely can't and um, these were both ten dollars which I didn't think was terrible I wish obviously you know they would go on sale and I could get them for half off but um, like a lot of the other times but I actually really liked these I actually this was another thing that I saw that I couldn't actually find the price but it was like tucked down so it was $6.99 it's a Merry Christmas sign and it has like some paper and some felt and I think this will be actually really fun and we can hang it in our homeschool room. So those are my Christmas things. I just knew myself and I knew I wouldn't go back before Christmas so I had to jump on a little bit of the Christmas bandwagon early but this would definitely be some Saturday afternoon projects that will take a good portion of my afternoon. Time-wise it says like oh 45 minutes an hour. I don't know we did one of these before and it took a little bit longer than, than what the box said. So I'm assuming this is gonna take us at least an hour each, if not more. So we'll move on to the Thanksgiving stuff. So I really was kind of more late for Halloween, but we really, um, but I think Thanksgiving is funner. And I got these two same kind of deal things. We've been studying Plymouth Rock and um, the pilgrims and things like that. So I got this ship um, and it says, welcome to Plymouth Rock. And then I also got a um, an Indian one. And I think this would be good. We actually just got done reading the Indian in the cupboard. So he's really into the Indians right now. And I think this would be a good, um, he actually saw this one and he was really excited. So I think that'll be a really fun project for him to do and put out and be proud of. So, and those will be good for the month. And um, all right, now these are actually, they were super cheap, a dollar a piece. It says it only takes about 15 minutes. So they're not gonna take up a bunch of time, which will be really good during the week uh, because I feel like we don't have enough time to do everything. And these are just things that he can, they're sun catchers so he can paint all these and then he can um, put them in the window and I'm thinking the homeschool window would be really fun to put these in and kind of decorate our room. I also got some of these foam projects just for kind of during our homeschool day. He's actually really excited about this because he's dressing up as an Indian on Halloween 
for his co-op because you had to be a character from the book, so he chose Little Bear from the Indian in the cupboard. So he's like, I can wear it for Little Bear. So um, he's actually super excited about this. And um, we uh, got a little turkey to make. And then this I thought was really good because you have to, he's done these before and they're, you're just sticking on the little squares. And I thought it was a really good kind of fine motor thing. And even though he's eight, these are super simple projects that don't cost a lot of money, that don't need a lot of supervision. And that's what I'm going for. Something where I can run and do the dishes, cook dinner, and he's not gonna, I don't need to be there 24 seven over his shoulder. The next thing is I got these garland and they're paper chain garland. And they are the different kind of this festive, happy Thanksgiving. And I actually thought these would be super cute. We're doing something similar and hanging some leaves from our ceiling in our school room, but I thought this would be really cool to go over our windows maybe. And I thought for $2.99, it seemed like a pretty long chain, 70 chains. So I thought that wasn't actually bad at all. Um, oh, these are something I just randomly picked up. Ryan has a little friend. You can see my quote marks here. He has a little friend and she's been making him things and so i thought around um, christmas time that he could make her one of these necklaces since it was just a dollar and it's beads so it's an easy thing and i thought maybe she would like that and it would be good for him to give a present like that so i got two different kinds of those i also got these corkboard tiles um at michael's they were about 8.99 and that Walmart actually probably has a better price on them, but I just, sometimes you just don't want to go to most, so many more stores. And so I'm going to put these up in the homeschool room because we had some stuff I wanted to stick up, and I really just didn't have a lot of places, and my magnet boards weren't working very well, so I thought I would give these a try, and they had some adhesive squares, yeah. So they should stick right to my wall. Um, I actually got these for my planner, which seems really dumb, I know, but I wanted some. I have an Erin Condren planner and I love it. So, and I love doing fun stuff like that. Um, I actually got this because one of the things that Ryan is memorizing in his co-op, he does classical conversations, so they do a lot of memorization. And one of the things was about the Declaration of Independence and he had asked me a bunch of questions about it. This is a chapter book. Um, about it but it also had pictures and I thought that um, was kind of a really good mix of something that he would maybe want to read because there was more pictures uh, because a lot of the chapter books we read right now don't have that so and it had seemed very historical there this book was $5.99 there was a couple of different kinds there was like who was Rosa Parks there was even like what were the Twin Towers so I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes I think it will be good though other couple things here. This stuff I had to actually hide from my son because some of it's for him. Um, this I needed for a project that I'm gonna do. It's just wire. I'm hoping that it will work. Um, I found this cross made of sticks. It sounds really weird, but I found this cross made of sticks and I need to kind of secure it more. And so I needed some wire. So I needed that for a project. And I found this. Um, and I thought this might be a good thing for like planning meals. I wasn't 100% sure, but um, I thought maybe it would help me a little bit more. And I don't know, I thought maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking shopping list, I'm not sure. But I think it might help me a little bit. So I'm gonna plan that, I'm gonna use that. And this was only 99 cents. So even if it didn't work like I thought, I can still use it for a multitude of other things. Um, this stuff I actually got for Christmas or for Ryan's stocking. So these, whoops, these card games, I got Crazy Eights and Old Main, and he has these games, but they just seem to disappear all the time. These were a dollar and they came in these hard boxes. So if you're looking for little um, stocking stuffers, I really recommend this for Michaels because a dollar and they come in the hard boxes, that's wonderful because a lot of the ones we have, it's the problem we're having is that 
the boxes rip and things like that and it's hard to keep it together so I thought this might be easier. Um, I saw these, this was actually a dollar two and I remember these from when I was a kid but I never did them. So it's something that you kind of put it on here, the beads on here, and then it melts together and makes this picture. I thought it would just be a really fun kind of afternoon art project. Um, just something different and I thought, hey, why not try it? But it seems like something they have all the time, so if we like it or um, he wants to do it, I don't know, as a gift or something, then it's something we can go back and get. I saw this, Three Minute Devotions for Boys. And I actually thought this would be really good because you could read it um, pretty much, like, of course I'm going to be sitting right there, but you can read it right there, and you can't go wrong with Time with God, and I just feel like this was a good um, devotion, and the, the actual lessons weren't very long or anything, so of course I would read it with him, but two, you know how it is, parents, you're tired, and you want to go to bed, and... You're just like, oh, I need to pray. We need to do stuff. And and sometimes just playing that balancing act is, is hard. So I thought this was a good idea. And so I really like the idea of it. And we'll see if we can use it. I'm going to save it, though, for Christmas. All these probably stocking or Christmas of some sort. And that is my haul, my messy haul on my table. Don't you guys love my sunflowers? Aren't they so pretty? So thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. It was just kind of a fun haul for me. I went in for one thing, like normal, and came out with all of this. But it'll be really fun to make this stuff with Ryan, and it was just fun to kind of look around and see what I could find, and I just haven't really done that in quite a while. Um, Michael's isn't a store that I normally go to all the time. Um, just, I don't even know why, like I probably should, but <laughs> it's just not, it's just not a store I go to a lot. And so this was um, kind of like a haul that will get me through to the first of the year, kind of some fun craft projects and stuff that um, I don't have to put a lot of effort into it. And so I think that sometimes those are the key projects that where you can just have an easy project with your kid that's not too difficult, but you can sit there and talk to them while they're doing while you're doing it and things like that. And that actually makes it more meaningful because you get to hear about what they're thinking about, you know, what they thought of something that you guys did, or I don't know. My son, he he's just a little bit of a talker, so I love to kind of pick his brain about. I don't know, life and everything. And so I was really excited to kind of get these uh, crafts. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I usually do haul videos. I do message of the day videos. And um, I just kind of do fun stuff that sounds good to me and that I would want to see. I am super curious about what people buy. And um, so I do a lot of like hauls and I bought this and I bought that because I'm just curious about that too. So if that's what you're interested in, um, I have, you know, a bunch more of those. And I just kind of do what I would want to watch and what I would want to see. So I will see you guys again. And um, I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving and find some really fun crafts to do with your kids as well.